Which doesn't make it a, a little more sweet to be playing your crosstown rival in the first round. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously a, 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 going to be a very interesting game since we haven't played for a while, and uh, you know we're we're really excited to be in the NCAA and, and proud of our accomplishments from last week. But yeah, I think that makes it even a little more intense going into an NCAA game to play USD. Why is it that you guys haven't played? Um, honestly, it's been a, uh, a scheduling issue that we've we've asked to play, and and uh, it hasn't seemed to work out for their schedule. Uh, I was there live and, and I saw the video. I saw a lot more on the video than I did live. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's some of it's unfortunate that it just got broadcast all over the world. Um, certainly, some things that were over the line there. But um, you know, I, I, we're we're a little disappointed that our conference was represented in that way because I think there's some really good soccer teams in our conference, and I think that was a an anomaly for, for even New Mexico there as well. And so kind of an unfortunate incident, but hopefully the final, although it didn't get as much play, was uh, a much better and, and cleaner game there. How about for the players? How disappointing was that to see kind of your representation of, of your league and, and your sport that way? Can we take it? <laughs> um, well, we didn't see it. We weren't at the game, so we didn't actually see see what happened. Um, so we just saw the whatever was on Sports Center, And kind of like what Coach Friesen said, it's a little disappointing that it was, you know, portrayed like that. But, I mean, sometimes you get caught up in the heat of the moment and it happens. But, I mean, I think overall, like, again, like Friesen said, there's a lot of good teams in our conference. So I think we'll be able to look past that. Were they known for that? Was that just, I mean, were they known for that? I was for that, but yeah. it was a rough you know, I, I think they're a physical team for sure, um, but not not like I've never seen anything like that out of, out of New Mexico or any other team. I think that again, like like Cat was just saying, it's it's a bit of the the heat of the battle. It's a conference tournament. Your season's on the line, and uh, you know I think there's always a little jostling going around in there, and then she just let her emotions get the best of her. But I haven't I haven't never seen anything like that. Can you talk about the season? Uh, uh, both of them, as well as just the entire team, just a, a fantastic season. I think just from a team perspective, um, to go from where we were last year, um, you know, at the end of the year, I looked back and just felt like we were a very good team last year that just could not figure out ways to win games, just very young, uh, made a lot of progress this year. And, and um, you know, even in the beginning of the season, we were up 2 nothing on Stanford with 30 minutes to play. And as I look back at it, almost all of us felt like, are we supposed to do this? I think we have that same chance now we might finish that game out. So um, just a really proud of the team. These guys in particular obviously had a great year. Um, she had a fantastic freshman year. Her sophomore year wasn't, as, wasn't her best. I think you know she made a lot of improvements to her game and just came back with a renewed energy and passion. And it showed. I mean, she's had a fantastic year with shutouts and saves and being a leader on the team. And same thing for Kat. Um, just you know, fitness-wise, in a better spot this year after her ACL a couple years ago. Um, again, leadership qualities and um, just the ability to, to win games. I think just last week said a lot about Cat of two big time goals in in very pressure situation at BYU, uh, one to, to tie it up um, against Utah and then and then Sunday's game winner in the in the conference championship. So proud of both of them. Uh, I think I have a whole team full of uh, of young women. That I'm really proud of.